Hello, Blaine Gray here from Plaster of Beginners and today I'm going to re do a review on the new Nella Black Edition Trowel. Okay, so let's start with the review. This is the Nella Black Edition Finishing Trowel. It's a flexi trowel and I've been asked, I asked Ryan Hill who's in promotion of Plaster's One Stop, I asked him exactly what this trowel is all about. And he said, if Nella Mediflex and Nella Flex Mark II had babies and it was a perfect middle ground, then this would be the answer. So this is, it's got the, the right amount of flex without having too much of a breaking point where it takes too long to break in. They say that this is the ultimate finishing trowel and it's the perfect middle ground between the flexi trowel and the medium flex trowel. It's that middle point right there. So let's give it a little look. It's got a black cork handle, so obviously nail is trademark. That by cork handle there. It's got gold stainless steel for the trowel. It's well riveted, it's got a strong frame. You can see that it's quite thick compared to the usual ones. And it is a good looking trowel. And in terms of feel, it's slightly heavier than the usual flexi trials I'm used to, especially since it's only 14 inch. That's the one I'm testing out today. But it does feel solid. Um, and obviously it's got a bit more steel. And um, what I'm going to do is show you a comparison to the Ox Ultra Flex here. Slightly thicker blade. And there's the guard in the middle is also thicker, which in my impression gives it the idea that it's going to be a bit more rigid than the usual flexi trowel. So, you know, on first glances, it looks good. Obviously, we're not going to be judging by the way it looks. What we're going to do is I've got two walls here. I've got a star stairway and a wall next to it's plaster. I'm going to do that and I'm going to give this a test run whilst I'm doing it. So, we'll see what it looks like. It looks great. It's had a massive amount of attention. Seems like a lot of people are excited about it. I'm going to give it my full review and real verdict. So let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to get a wet trial on the go here. It's going to be the best way to see how this trial actually works by using it. So I'm going to give it a test run now. You're going to see exactly what I'm up to and we're going to go for it. So a wet trial. This is the second to last stage of plastering. You'll hear it still needs a bit of breaking in. To be fair, I usually give my trowel the sand down. So that's my bad. But to be fair, it's coping very well. And obviously, it's making the wall pretty lovely and flat. One thing I will say with using it is the grip. The handle is amazing. The amount of grip you get on this, and it's obviously a cork handle, but things to do with the ridges on the inside as well. They really work when you've got that hard grip, you know yourself, doing a wet trial or the final stages, you've really got to hold on. And it doesn't twist or move. I do like the Rafina handles and the Superflexes, but they're sometimes a bit too smooth. You have got complete grip with this. That's one thing I'm immediately impressed with. Like all the Nella trowels, they all have that, but that it just feels right. Let's carry on with the wet trowel. It's coping very well. Like I said, I've not given any sand down, I've not really broke it in. I'm considering. It's pulling a little bit, but that is normal. I can feel it now, this side is starting to definitely break in. This side I've been using a lot more, it's broken but... So as you can see, in terms of performance, it is a stiffer trowel and I'd say it's more towards the the medium end of a flexi trowel. So um, in terms of the flex, it's probably the middle between your, your standard trowel and your flexi trowel, but to me that is 
a really nice amount of flex. I generally don't like too much flex anyway. I think you can pull your plaster out. But this, at first impressions, seems pretty good to use. The other thing I've noticed, it's very well balanced. It feels right in the hand. The weight, it's centrally focused. It feels like you've got the same amount of pressure when you're troweling up throughout the whole trowel, where sometimes some trowels can feel a bit top heavy or a bit flimsy. This. The overall balance feels right on this. It's almost like they've centered it perfectly, which is crucial for me to make sure you've got a flat wall, that everything is has an equal amount of pressure along the same length everywhere you go. So for the grip and in terms of use, just for that alone, it is pretty impressive so far, considering I've only been using it, well, for one hit really. Um, I am very impressed. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm actually going to do a tri trial on this. I usually use a Plaza Flex, but I'm actually going to use this. I'm going to push it to its limits and see how it performs. So hopefully within the time of me going up to the stop and finishing this wall, we can break it in a little bit further and really push it to its limits. So let's see. By the way, if you like this review, please like and subscribe to our channel. That way you'll be fully updated when we've got new reviews coming in and any tutorials coming for plastering, any new tips and tricks, We'll be there to show you. So if you're liking it, please like and subscribe to our channel. Really appreciate it. Let's get back to it. Okay, so we're going to give it one last test. And this is a dry trowel. Usually, like I said, I usually try and finish walls with plastic trowel. I'm going to really put this through its paces. And uh, let's see how it does. So obviously it's not fully broken in yet. It's getting there. So I'm going to lubricate the trowel as I go. But let's just see what re results it brings up. Let's go. I don't know if you can hear, but there's less screaming on the trowel now. <laughs> you can tell it's starting to starting to break in. At the beginning, it was screaming its guts off, but it's all right now. Again, it's that grip. It's so good. It feels like you're locked in, especially now on the dry trowel. This is a, the toughest part in terms of grip and pressure. You're just completely there. There's no twisting, no turning. And considering I've just been using it for about since the wet trowel on this hit, what you've seen so far, that's when I've actually started using this. It's done very well in terms of breaking point. Let's have a little look, see what we see what we're looking like. As you can see, a nice flat wall. So there's a hallway there. As you can see. Not wrong with that, is it? Considering it's been freshly, freshly used, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So uh, let's wrap this up. That's demonstration done. Let's uh, let's get to the final points of this trowel. Let's go. Okay, so the verdicts in. I must admit, I completely love this trowel. Um, I don't really often agree with hype. If anything's overhyped, I often try and rebel against it. And I was going to try and grill this little bad boy, but I must admit, it's an unbelievable trowel. And the main reason for me is purely because of that handle and the grip you get with it. I know that's a standard feature for most Nella trowels, but it is unbelievable. The grip, and it's just got that, it feels right in the hand. It's, it's got the right amount of, of weight to it, but with a, a nice amount of flex. It's not too flexible, but it's nice enough to relieve your, your joints and take that stress away from the you know your usual day graft at work so I'm considering I've only used it once and I've still only used it once as I'm reviewing this it is an unbelievable trial and now uh, yeah I'm going to be using that from now on I'm going to give it a good test run I'll be using it from now on I'm going to see how it, if it gets better and better so if there's any updates I'll keep you posted so I might do another review in say a month's time but for the moment I must must admit I absolutely love this trial um, if you know, I do recommend you getting it. Obviously, if you've got a Medi Mediflex or anything where near it, it's probably a nice middle ground between the Mediflex and uh, the the Flex Mark II. It's probably, I mean, to compare it into the other trials, it's probably along the same region as the Rafina Superflex II. That's where I'd say it's roughly there in terms of that flex point. 
Um, but it's a lovely trial to use. I definitely recommend anyone to get it. So I'll leave a link below in the description. Description just just below it, below in the video. I'll leave a link to the trial there. And obviously, as you can tell from the video, it's Christmas at this time. So if you are watching it early, treat yourself to a nice Christmas present. And I don't think you'll regret it. So this is Blaine Gray, Plaster of Beginners. If you like this review, please subscribe to the channel for more. And uh, please like the video if you think so. And if you've used this trowel, if you know anyone who has, please leave your comments below. Ask any questions. And if you have used it, let us know what you think of it in the comments section below. So please leave your comments. Let everyone else know in our video, in our plastering community. Let them know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching. Blaine Gray, Plaster of Beginners. See you soon. Cheers.